this is a Macintosh SC power supply and it doesn't like to be tested without a load. So to test it, I made my own dummy load here. First, I adapted an ATX power supply connector because it shares the same pinout of the Macintosh power supply. Then I connected four different loads to the four different rails this power supply can generate. I've got four ohms for the five volt rail, which should drain 1.25 amps. I've got 15 ohms on the 12 volt video rail, which should drain 800 milliamps. I've got eight ohms for the 12 volt drive rail, which should uh, use 1.5 amps. And finally, I've got 45 ohms on the minus 12 rail, which is the weakest one, which should use 266 milliamps. I've got four multimeters connected, each one at a different rail line, and I can power up the power supply and monitor all the voltages together and make sure that everything works as expected. Let's power up. And I've got the five volts, the two 12 volts, and the minus 12 volts there. And if it's really required, I can also tweak the voltage of the power supply by adjusting the voltage adjustment, which is inside the power supply. Final voltage checks, of course, need to be done with the actual Macintosh, but I think this is a good way to make sure your power supply is working reliably so you're not risking your Macintosh machine if something goes wrong.